I ain't come to convince you or nobody. Because I know who I am. I don't know if T.D. Jakes is guilty of what they're saying he is, but what he's doing now makes him look guilty. I have no idea about any of the rumors and allegations about T.D. Jakes. I have a hairstylist now. Someone else is coming out. A lot of times these things happen. Sometimes you ha you have this cascade of people coming out because it's true. Sometimes you have a cascade of people coming out when it's not true just to kind of jump on board. At some point in time, the truth is going to come out. So I won't really speak on that. However, what he's doing now, he looks guilty. All of you who expect me to address a lie, you can log off. I will not use this sacred day and this sacred pulpit to address a lie when I have a chance to preach a truth. Let me just say this. I've met him a couple of times. I used to have an office, an investment office in the same office building that he had. It was the Metroplex Economic Development Corporation, something like that. And his office was on the top floor. Mine was on the, on the uh, was two floors below. And so I would see him from time to time and I would go into the office because I had some clients that were up there. And the way he carried himself, I mean, he, he does carry himself kind of a little bit standoffish, at least to, to the people that he doesn't know. But what you could feel is the air of arrogance that was there. And I told the story before about how they didn't want me to be in the same elevator as him in the same building. So I had they wanted me to wait for him to take the elevator down uh, and then catch it, either catch the next elevator or catch this one coming back up. Well, I'm not going to do that. You can wait. And so. Uh, he kind of gave me this this little smirk and this, you know, this grunting because I'm in the elevator with him. How, how dare I? That's something totally different about this situation. I have no idea. I hope and pray that it's not true because there are some people that might think that this is kind of indicative of Christianity and it's not. It will impugn for some people in the eyes of some people the name of Christ. But what he's doing now, I again, have no idea. However, right now he's acting like he's guilty. Number one, the sermon itself that he gave on that Sunday morning where he said that he's not going to talk about it, but then proceeded to talk about it all the way through. The old saying, uh, me thinks thou doth protest too much. You keep saying it over and over and over and over again. Why? Just say it once or move on. It's not the first time that someone said anything bad about you, and it won't be the last. But what he's doing now, and you're going to notice something, guys, some of the videos that you've seen on YouTube or Facebook, what have you, you're going to see these videos being taken off. Why? Because what is he doing? Rallying the troops or the legal troops and now filing lawsuits to have these copyright takedowns of these videos. How do I know? Because I got one. Now, me personally, I'll fight it. I have no problem with going ahead and fight it because I've got the time. I understand a little bit how the courts work, unfortunately. And so I don't have a problem with that. I'm going to make him or them to fight it if that's the case. If I get a copyright strike, fine. I've, only, I've never had one before. It will be my first one. But what you're doing suing people or threatening to sue people having these copyright strikes uh, uh, initiated because you don't want them to say anything about you speaks of a person who is guilty. The Bible says this, and you've heard it before, and this is a case where it actually is true. He says that the wicked flee when no one is pursuing, but the righteous are as bold as a lion. You, sir, are not very bold right now. You are afraid. I get that. Maybe there is something to it. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Don't want to speculate, but you're causing people you're going to cause a lot of folks to speculate because now you're taking the legal efforts to remove these things. You don't want anyone to say anything negative about you. That's a problem. Oh, by the way, what does the Bible say, Bishop, about what Christians should do in terms of the court? Does does any of you, uh, any one of you, when he has a, a case against his neighbor, dare to go to the law before the unrighteous and not before his the saints? Or do you not know that the saints will judge the world if the world is judged by you? Are you not competent to constitute the smallest law of courts? Do you not know that we will judge angels? How much more matters of this life? So if you, if you have law courts dealing with matters of this life, do you appoint them as judge judges who are of no account in the church? I say this to your shame. Is it so that there is not among you one wise man who will be able to decide between his brethren? But brother goes to law with brother and that before the unbelievers. And so what is he doing? He's doing what the Bible says not to do. 
to take another brother, whether you know their brother or not, they're at least professed, to court. That's not what you're supposed to do. But that is a common tactic that they do, which tells us something about him. Again, I make no bones about it. I don't know about this person's walk with the Lord. Uh, his, his handling of the scriptures are all over the place in terms of him being sound, not sound at all. In terms of his daughter being sound, not sound at all, just making up things. And so that's an issue. And so the Bible tells us, the Bible tells us that, at least for us, as far as we're concerned, that what I am doing, at least for what I'm doing, uh, I will continue to do so that I may cut off the opportunity for those who desire an opportunity to be regarded just as we are in the matter about which they are boasting. In other words, another version says to undermine. The thing is, and they should know, we're not on the same team. Apparently, he believes so also because we're going to court. Possibly. I have no problem with that because I think what you're doing is wrong. I'm not one that's saying that you're guilty, but you look guilty. You're acting guilty. I've been around unfortunately, around a bunch of people who were guilty. I've been guilty of something and know what, what it's like to act guilty and to be uh, kind of afraid of what would happen if people found out the truth. Hope what I'm saying is wrong, but you act like someone who doesn't want people to find out what the truth is. I would want people to know what the truth is if I am indeed not guilty of that. Again, that would be a heinous thing to be thought of some pastor, some preacher, especially some of your, of your of your stature, to be accused and found guilty of something sexual in nature, homosexual. That would be an issue. But that's not on me. That's on you. And the fact of the matter is what you're doing seems to say that maybe you are. This is the big issue that we have with what you did and how you, sir, found yourself here. The Bible says this in, in 2 Corinthians chapter 6, 14. We should know this. He says, do not be bound together with unbelievers. For what partnership have righteousness with lawlessness or what fellowship has light with darkness? That's an issue. You have fellowship with these people so much that when they come back and bite you like they do each other, you have no recourse because you should not have been there with them in the first place. Or this is what fellowship has light with darkness or what harmony has Christ with Bilal or what has a believer in common with an unbeliever. It may be that you all have everything in common. I don't know. According to your doctrine, you probably do have everything in common. Remember, you're the guy that says that you have made God your business partner so they can owe you. What a blasphemous thing to say. But that's fine. Uh, I'll say this so that everyone else will know that this is what you're doing. You're going to guys are going to start seeing certain videos disappearing. Why? Because he's employing legal strategies to get these videos taken off of YouTube. And so what does that look like? It looks even more damning. Y'all looking at me like you're my physician trying to see if I'm good. I'm good. It looks even worse because now you look guilty. You act guilty. And so if there is ever a desire for someone to give you the benefit of the doubt, you're going to lose it because of what you're doing. And so now, will I back away because of, because of this? No, I don't really go after TD Jakes that much anyway. But now I will let everyone know about this. And here's the reason why. Again, you're a person who say you're not concerned. You're not worried. I think that, that, that ain't what this is about. You think whatever you want to think, I don't care. Well, apparently you are. I got my own flaws and my own fault, but I didn't do that. And yet another, and, and so all this is, is yet another reason to stay away from TDJ, to avoid him, even for this reason. This is obvious and apparent and blatant uh, disregard of the scriptures. And so we'll see what happens. God bless you. But in terms of our resolve and sticking to the scriptures and calling out uh, and being on the offense of someone who comes against the scriptures, we'll continue to do so. Amen.